Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Cakes by MK. Now what if I told you guys that it was possible to make a super delicious frosting out of regular all-purpose flour? You'd probably think I'm a little bit crazy. But in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a delicious frosting called ermine frosting which does in fact has flour as one of its main ingredients. What I absolutely love about this frosting is one it's not too sweet, two is that it's really nice and light so it's you know got kind of a bit of a fluffy texture to it and it just melts in your mouth when you eat it. And three is that it doesn't have any eggs in it. So for those of you who prefer more kind of like a Swiss meringue or Italian meringue kind of buttercream but can't have eggs then this is a great substitute for that because it doesn't have any eggs in it. <laughs> if you're new to my channel welcome and if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up below. Apart from that let's get right into this video. So the first thing you want to do is place a saucepan over a medium heat and then add some white sugar and flour into the pan and then just mix that for about a minute or two to toast the flour. Just make sure that you keep mixing it because you don't want to burn your flour. As always, full quantities to so all the ingredients will be in the description box below. Next you want to add in half of your milk, mix that together until it's all combined and then add the remaining milk and mix that together until the mixture is nice and smooth. Now you want to keep gently stirring the mixture with your whisk until it begins to bubble. It's really important to keep stirring to make sure that the bottom doesn't burn. Now once the mixture is bubbling, then you want to continue cooking the mixture for about another minute or so until it's really thick in consistency and then take it off the heat. So as you can see here, the mixture has thickened up quite a lot, it's almost like a pudding texture. Now the next thing you want to do is allow the mixture to cool completely before we move on to the second step of this buttercream. To speed up the process, I like to put my mixture into a plate because this just helps to cool it down a lot quicker as opposed to, you know, putting it into a bowl. You can also make this ahead of time and pop it into the fridge to cool until you need it. If you're using it the day before, then simply just take it out of the fridge a few hours before you're going to use it and this will just allow it to come to room temperature and then you're good to go. So my mixture is nicely spread out now and I'm just going ahead and covering the top with some some cling wrap, making sure that the cling wrap is touching the top of the mixture and this is just going to prevent a skin from forming as it cools. And then once I'm done with that I'm going to pop this mixture into the freezer for about 30 minutes and then we'll be back to finish this buttercream. So it's been about half an hour now and my mixture is nice and cool so now we can finish off this buttercream. So the first thing I'm going to do is cream some softened unsalted butter in my mixer on a medium high speed until it's light and fluffy. You can do this with a hand mixer as well and it should take about 5 minutes or so to cream up. Now midway through creaming the butter it's a good idea to scrape down the sides of the bowl and then keep mixing. This just helps to kind of ensure everything is mixing well. So once the butter is done it should look like this, so much lighter in colour and almost doubled in volume. And now the next step is to start gradually adding in our flour milk mixture into our butter and this is going to form our buttercream. So you want to add in about a tablespoon at a time until all the mixture is added to your butter. Now once that's all added in, I'm just scraping the size of my bowl and then mixing it one more time to make sure everything is well combined. Next I'm adding in some vanilla to flavour my frosting, followed by a little bit of salt. If you're using salted butter then you can skip the salt. Then I'm just mixing that through, giving my bowl one last scrape and then I'm going to let my mixer run on the lowest speed for a few minutes to remove some of those large air bubbles so I have a nice smooth frosting. A quick tip for you guys if the air bubbles just aren't going away, you can pop your bowl into the microwave for 5 seconds and then remix it and this should help. You can keep returning your bowl to the microwave for 5 second bursts until it's really nice and smooth, just make sure you don't overheat your buttercream otherwise you will be left with, you know, just a liquidy mess. And then a few minutes later you're left with a beautiful smooth ermine frosting ready to use. Now 
Now a quick tip for you guys, if you're mixing your ermine frosting together and it looks like it's split or curdled, don't worry, it just means that one of your ingredients was a little bit too cold and so that's why things haven't kind of, you know, emulsified well. So all you need to do is pop your bowl into the microwave for maybe five second bursts at a time. Just make sure you don't overheat it because buttercream melts really easily when you pop it into the microwave. So yeah, just for maybe five seconds at a time and just give it a mix until it kind of comes together. You can do this over a double boiler as well if you don't have a microwave. So just pop your bowl over a double boiler and just keep mixing that, you know, over a gentle heat until it kind of comes together. And then yeah, you should be good to go. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up below if you did. Thanks so much for watching Cakes by MK and I'll see you guys in the next video.